Hi guys, what's up? In this video, I'll show you the unboxing and a simple review of this new Samsung Galaxy E7. Just recently bought this product, and as you can see, what Samsung is doing nowadays is that they are they are signaling to go green. So you can see they have given a very decent packing in the box also. And if I dig deep into inside the box, you will see that there is a Samsung Galaxy E7 branding. It's a 16 GB model, and there there are the specifications list that the phone boasts of. These are some of the uh, basic lists that you can see. It's a super AMOLED screen, modern, sleek, finely crafted, slim design, enhanced selfie, then the network, the CPU uh, information, the display information, the camera, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that, and the dual variation phone. So <clears throat> this is a handset that you can see. And by the way, let's go ahead and unbox the whole thing. Over here and yes. Okay, it's done. It's ready. Let me keep aside the knife for now for safety purpose. Okay. Uh, here it is. The new Samsung Galaxy 7. They have given a very beautiful uh, cover also over here. Just to pick up the thing. And of course, let us put the handset aside for now. And let us see the other things that comes along with the handset. So as you can see, it's a quick start guide that Samsung always provides with and the headphone what Samsung is doing with this headphone is that they are giving a very high quality headphone you can see then that there is a volume uh, rocker buttons uh, available in the headphones also and of course the button to accept or reject a call and apart from that there is a standard USB charger the USB cable uh, as you can also refer to it the wall mount the wall mount charger also over here uh, okay, uh, it says it's to the volume chant. It says output of 5 volt and stuff so like that and Importantly The sim ejector tool. I'll show you what is the use of this particular tool also in a bit And of course we had have, have some of the earbuds over here So you can easily place them along with the headphone So these are the things that comes along in the box along with the Samsung Galaxy E7 Okay, let us keep aside all the things and dig deep into the handset for now okay guys here is a handset as you can see now uh, with the Samsung Galaxy E7 what they have done is that they have used a plastic body like they have used to do in, uh, in fact the sides are also plastic but the most amazing part is that the back is a metal finish specifically it's made of aluminium so that's a thumbs up I can say that yeah Samsung Galaxy is bringing on the trend to use a metal body for the handset so that's a good sign and of course there is a 13 megapixel shooter at the back along with the LED flash the sound box you can see uh, on one side you will find the uh, power on and off button and of course let me just uh, show you the other side there the volume rockers over here at the bottom you will find the 3.5 millimeter jack and also the USB slot and also the noise cancellation button at the top and uh, branding of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset that they're using in this particular handset. So let me just remove the front screen ledges for that and go ahead and switch on the device for the very first time. Okay, it's a Samsung Galaxy E7 powered by Android. Okay, just like you have shown in, uh, just like we have seen in Samsung Galaxy A3 and A5. The Samsung Galaxy E series as the E7 also gives a very beautiful logo of the Samsung. And now that's a setup. I'll just quickly do it and come back with the video again. And I'll show you the more features and more functionalities that this particular handset comes with. Okay guys, as you can see I have set up my uh, phone for the very first time. But by now you all are quite sure and quite aware how to set up your Android handset. So uh, for the very first look what I see that they have omitted the auto options over here and just kept the outdoor options I guess it's a bit of a con for Samsung because they have given a high uh, a bit of a higher mid-range phone and you have omitted the option for auto brightness and stuff like that whatever it is let, let us go to the settings and over here let me just uh, select view as tab view you can either go for a list view or a tab view whatever you prefer to do and after that let me go to system and go to about device and let us see that yeah this were this particular handset that is Samsung Galaxy 7 runs on Android version 4.4.4 that is KitKat okay and also they have not skimmed a lot, bit in the memory part also if you, if you go to storage over here you will see that it uses a 16 gigs model and of course there is a provision to add an external SD card now regarding that let me show you one interesting thing that nowadays Samsung Galaxy handsets are coming with even the Samsung Galaxy E7 is having it the thing is that on the side where there uh, where you can see the auto uh, on and off feature for the handset you will find there are two slots 
the number one slot is for inserting the SIM 1 and mind you it uses a nano SIM so nano SIM 1 and the second slot is for a nano SIM 2 or a micro SD card so either you can get uh, go ahead and insert a nano SIM 2 or you can go ahead and insert a micro SD card let me show you the thing so that so this is the reason for why the SIM ejector tool comes in handy so I just go ahead and just open it and using the pinpoint over here I'm just pressing part over here and see this particular sim slot comes out and i have already inserted the sim uh, nano sim one it's a nano sim one that i'm using over here so that's over there and for the nano sim part two i'm just holding out this particular tray and you can see that it gives a slot to either insert your nano sim uh, two or use your micro sd card so i'm going to use a micro sd card for now so this is a micro sd card that i'm just going to put it over here just like that uh, just as it fits over here and okay here it is and let me just insert it like that okay now let's go ahead and again turn on the handset so it's a very it gives a very beautiful uh, screen server also here yeah, the lock screen you can see it's a very, yeah it gives you the property that Samsung never compromises on your display and you can see the colors are vibrant and bright and also they're distinct so you can see that yeah at the end of the day it gives you a royal feeling also Okay, now, now let's just go ahead and go to settings and just check out storage over here and you will see it has already detected my micro SD card of 16 gigs. So space wise, you have a plenty of space to store each and everything over here. Okay, now after that, let's go to power savings and here, uh, yeah, the ultra power saving mode is off. Let us just turn on uh, for the time being. So it will just uh, make sure that your battery is being restored fully. Now let us go to settings again and find out about display and wallpaper here okay now see yes uh, the auto adjust ringtone is here starts to that the outdoor mode is only there there is no adjustment for the auto brightness settings and all so I will say that it's something that Samsung could have included very easily in this particular handset but I don't know I'm not sure why they have omitted that particular feature but anyhow nevertheless let us go ahead and see uh, technical and specification wise uh, let me tell you uh, as you can see it, uh, this particular phone better known as a phablet because um, it's a 5.5 inch display as you can see and also has a resolution of one, uh, 1280 into 720 pixels with 267 ppi there is 267 pixel per inch density and of course a 16m color it uses and a super amoled capacitive touch screen now for this super amoled screen you can see that you can view this particular thing very decently and very carefully and very brightly also in any angle that you want to see it's also it gives you the feeling that yeah of course uh, gives you a feeling of a premium handset now again technical specification wise uh, it runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset with a quad core clock speed of 1.2 gigahertz and powered by Cortex A53 and Adreno 306 so that's a very decent combination and you can uh, uh, it will obviously help you to go by your daily activities day to day to day activities with your Android handset very smoothly because it boasts of a 2 GB RAM also so let us see the power of a 2 GB RAM along with the Snap Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset and 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor let us fire up the browser for now just go to the Google icon and hit Chrome let me just yeah here is a website it says easy solutions for you dot in it's my company website of app development and website development let us just go ahead and shoot that website now as you can see the website has loaded pretty fast actually because there are a lot of features and a lot of uh, graphical stuffs and, and samples and the portfolio that are loaded in the website but still it has loaded so easily and so fast over here so it does gives you an idea that the 2 GB RAM is a decent one at the end of the day and also if I pinch uh, yeah pinch zooming is also working very fine and very easily and very smoothly so that's it uh, yeah it does performs uh, quite a great uh, actually I should say and let us see the apps that this particular handset comes in build with as you can see it's a very clean uh, interface over here till now so that is a plus good sign because uh, what the Samsung is doing is that they have left all the default apps to be downloaded from the Samsung stores and they have kept the, uh, this particular interface very clean so it's a thumbs up it's very uh, it's definitely a great thing uh, that's going on over here okay apart from that let's see the dialer over here uh, yeah it's a very good dialer it's a very big dialer also so you can easily type in the numbers and for a call purposes and all and let us uh, see how the particular keyboard uh, yeah the default keyboard you can see there are spaces in between so it's a very big display as a big display is very good for every user every 
uh, use of beta irrespective of your age or something like that so that's a decent addition by Samsung also now let us check the most important and the noteworthy feature of Samsung Galaxy E7 that is a camera as you are quite aware by now that the rear camera is a 13 mega megapixel shooter and the front one that's a selfie camera it's a 5 megapixel shooter let us quickly go ahead and check the quality for now although I'll give more detailed analysis and total video uh, full review of the camera in my detailed review of this particular handset later on but still let us go ahead and do it I'm uh, just uh, pressing it over here just focusing it and just taking the picture there are several modes as you can see and also there's the download option available that you can download all the other modes from the uh, Samsung store also so apart from that let yeah okay let me just quick uh, hit some quick video of my photos over here and also let, let me put this particular thing and just take a picture of that I remember it's a very low light condition currently when I'm shooting the video uh, but still let us check the rear camera for now okay as you can see I'm just here okay see the clarity of the picture over here it's so clear man it's damn great the camera is damn great I must say it's a great camera oh wow see this particular picture it's so crystal clear over here so the 13 megapixel shooter is a definitely thumbs up for Samsung Galaxy 7 and let us go ahead and check the front camera also okay here it is the camera as you can see I'm just hitting it over here and uh, let us just check the video the, uh, sorry the camera picture that comes along okay it's a quick rush though uh, the focus has not been there but still I'll come with more interesting uh, shoot with the uh, front camera also in my detail review uh, so, so that whatever it is I can say you that the camera is not a disappointment uh, now apart from that a very new feature that the Samsung Galaxy E7 also boasts of is that if uh, in the multitasking button where there is a back button the multitasking task as you can see if I hit the multitasking window you will see the um, all the multitasking windows that has been open or available over here and just hit that over here just like that and it will go off and if I am on the home screen and just press the multitasking button for long you will see that it will toggle between the menu buttons so it's a very decent addition also from the Galaxy A series also they have followed this particular pattern of uh, displaying the menu part and apart from that there is a themes so it's a new addition in Samsung Galaxy handset nowadays you can actually choose a theme and it will uh, change the icons and stuff, stuff that everything so if I go to natural over here I'll just uh, hit apply and let us see see it's changed it has changed all the icons starts to that everything in fact also the lock screen also you will see that it has uh, changed so you see it's a very good addition and of course uh, with these the flip coat uh, board comes now some people may find this particular thing very annoying over here so if you feel that the flip board uh, with every swipe to the left uh, the flip board is coming stuff to that you can always go to and uh, go to a um, multitasking button just hold it over there just go to home screen settings over here and flip board briefing you just check that off and go and see it's not coming the flip board is not coming anymore so that's it guys I guess for now this unboxing video and a simple review it's okay for now let me test the handset for a week or so and I'll come with a more vivid description a detailed a review of Samsung Galaxy E7 with its features pros and cons and stuff so that that's it guys just like the video for now please give a thumbs up it does help the channel and stay subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it because that way we'll get all the important updates and the interesting updates will come in very soon bye for now